very much and good afternoon everybody thank you for joining um, i am maria cadbury director of strategic partnerships at safe now we are a voice and media company we're also the uk and europe's alexa cup winners and also recently um q1 20 21, we achieved a global media first, enabling Bayer's Baraka Boost to be bought directly from a radio ad, bringing you a new era of shoppable, actionable audio ads. That very same campaign is up for our four Media Week Awards as well. Campaigns, it's very, very exciting times. Fun fact, as you said, it's my birthday and it's been sunny for my birthday every year of my life. So enjoy this afternoon sunshine. Um, but I'm not here to talk about me per se. I am here to talk about voice and our view at Say It Now. Um, and digital transformation is rapidly taking hold of audio and is one of the reasons IAB, who um, already mentioned, is forecast audio revenues to double by 2023. Um, in Q1 2021 global, so this year, global reported more than half of its digital inventory is being consumed through smart speakers. Now I'm going to say that again because it's really important that we already grasp that. DAX have reported half of its inventory is being consumed through smart speakers. Audio campaigns are now being engaged with in the moment using the power of voice assistance. Soon it will be unthinkable to book an audio campaign without it being actionable. To do so would be like delivering a display campaign without the ability to click. And if we take this through an evolution point of view, let's think about newspapers. Newspapers were digitized and read on screens and with that evolution came data. So digital transformation and evolution of audio is huge. And as we said, we're seeing the rise of digital imagery, but what has been lacking is the delivery of the concept of the click. There was an attribution data. However, with voice assistants, we're now able to take the next step of digital transformation in audio by delivering an actionable component, the equivalent of a landing page to a voice experience through the mechanic of a voice call to action, launching your voice skill experience on your smart speaker. So now what we have is previously unattainable real-time information on audio ads. Campaign performance is now possible with actionable audio ads and data from your media to your voice assistant engagement, benchmarks, brand dwell time and tr transactional data, which can be a purchase, a coupon to your phone, anything in that kind of sense. And then if you think about it, success comes from embracing and testing. Diageo is a wonderful example of a, br a brand being really brave. Having launched our first Talska tasting brand experience on Alexa with Diageo in 2019, we're now rolling out the branded experience across five European countries and local languages. Diageo is one of the leading brands globally to use the latest Alexa new feature that will feature Amazon, that was featured on um, Alexa Live Conference, which is their really big annual conference release in New Tech in July, which is sent to phone. That's where you receive a coupon that can be redeemed in bars which brings together the in-home and the in-store experience. Dax and Octave, um, we work closely with, both, with Say It Now on two separate multi hierarchy projects, which is driving donations from audio ads to smart speakers um, and creating world first benchmarks and white papers. Comic Relief um, at the Say It Now Voice event that we held earlier this year, um, they have said that um, work, they've got actionable audio ads across all of their um, future marketing and they're seeing donations are higher when um, on smart speakers themselves and other channels, which is really powerful um, insights. Today um, in 2021, action audio ads are fully capable programmatic format. So this is like, we're really moving into the digital space and a solution will be soon unthinkable for an audio campaign to be booked, which is not actionable. It'd be like booking display without a click. Um, we're not meant to do any sales and stuff, but we do happen to have a Black Friday September offer. So come to chat to me about that. But the key takeout for everybody here is audio advertising works. We know it works really well, but actionable audio ad works better. That's it for me. Amazing. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Maria. Did you say Alexa Cup winner? Tell us what, what the Alexa Cup is. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it's 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 a it's, yeah, it's fantastic. So Amazon run a global competition um, called Alexa Cup, and it's got its developers all over the world competing. So here in the UK, we're up against Omnicom, all the creative agencies, production companies, media companies. We won the UK, and um, tough like like competition publishers, creative agencies. Wow. 
Yeah, then we went to all the countries in Europe. We won that. We went to America. We lost, um, came third, lost it to Barbie. So there was no glory in that, but <laughs> hey-ho. <laughs> yeah, um, but actually because of that, we don't just work with Amazon in the UK. We've got a really close relationship with Amazon in Seattle and mm, Fort nice. Hall. Yeah, so it's led us to have a very close relationship with them. And what do you, um, and I, lo- I love, I love the um, I love the DAX, the global numbers. They're incre- they're incredible. I've not heard those before. I mean, I mean, a lot of the point with smart speakers is there there are in lots and lots of homes. So the hardware isn't the issue. I think people sort of get it and have got into it. What do you think are going to be some of the drivers around people actually getting engaged with them rather than it just being you know turn on my radio station or something else? What what do you think those drivers are going to be? Because it's just a human behaviour thing, isn't it? It's not the hardware. Yeah, you're completely right. And it actually comes from brand, from us in the industry driving it forward, plus the radio stations. Like, it's interesting, back home in Ireland, um, RTE are promoting, you know, go online and go on to your Alexa device and listen mm. to it. And it's the radio stations here, you know, in their own self-promotion, you can go to a radio station, to our website, to our own um you can listen to us on our channel on the smart speaker so yeah. that promotion on it working with the likes of bear and with comic relief and diageo they feel it's our responsibility as well so mm. they're looking at <clears throat> in their own promotion that they promote um through the audio ads indeed other ads because we are talking to yeah. clients yeah. on tv and everything else it's a, it's a big opportunity but the more the more we hear an audio ad with a call to action, the more our behavior. But interesting, Gen Zs are already actively seeking out ways to engage with advertising through voice. Yeah. So this is rapid adoption through them. We're also seeing with smart speakers and um, the elderly in the home, they're trusting us as a friend. So I think it's about us getting the right creative. And a key one we've seen is don't tack your call to action at the end of an audio, yeah. thread it through so it's heard a few times. Nice. And it's so many lessons, is it? With video, we tack things on at the end, you know, but you have to sort of relearn with these different formats. Exactly. That was brilliant. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank and happy you. birthday, of course.